Tony Troy here. This is Lamb of God by Vertical Worship. Love this song. Uh, Vertical Worship, they are very special in that their songs never walk that fine line of are they sound theologically or are they not? They always are. They're very vigilant toward that, and I appreciate that about this band so much. Uh, the worship team just uh, allows us to be confident in the songs that they're putting out for the churches to sing are going to honor the Lord the right way, are going to teach the congregation the right things about the character of God, who he is, what he's done, and what that means for us. Guitar parts to this song, so there's a lot of them. If you look on rehearsal mix or multi-tracks or whatever, there's just a ton. I think there's like eight or something. So trying to mix them together to make one guitar track was kind of challenging if you play it, if I'm trying to play it the right way, I guess. So I did the best I could to try to melt the parts together. I know the gentleman, I think his name is Nathan, the lead guitar player at that time when this song was written, he played a Gretsch, so I don't have a Gretsch, and the Gretsch is very distinct sounding, so the guitar tone, like the timbre of the tone in particular, the like edge of breakup tone is not going to be that close, if I can be honest, but the overdriven tone sounds pretty close. Um, I think in a band context... It's going to be difficult for anyone to tell the difference when your band is playing the song, but when you hear my guitar against the guitar track, the actual guitar track from Vertical Worship, it, there's a distinct difference in tone. So just wanted to acknowledge that, but the parts, I think, are, are a good combination of what you'd want to do if you're trying to tackle this song, say, with a lead player and a rhythm player, you being a lead player, this is what you do. So Lamb of God by Vertical Worship. Hope you guys enjoy it. One, two... One, two, three, four. 